at the Institute of World Politics, I teach mass murder prevention in failed and failing states. The class used to be called genocide prevention, but the term genocide itself is not commodious enough to describe all instances of mass murder. Democide, or killing of people for political reasons, is much more uh, handy. We start with the caves. We discuss human nature, and we show how it is inscribed in the human DNA to kill. A human being can be uh, evil, or he can be good. But mass murder has happened consistently since the caves. By studying mass murder from the, from the caves, the Assyrian times, the Mongols, up to the revolution in France, we learn the mechanisms of mass murder. Not just the way to kill, but the way that mass murder is origin, uh, engineered, where it originates, and how it is conducted. When we study it, we learn how to prevent it. The revolution in France was the last ancient mass murder and the first modern one, for it was ideologically driven. We move from there to the 20th century. We start with the genocide of the Hereros by the Germans in Africa, the first genocide of the 20th century. Next, we discuss the Armenian massacres, the Armenian tragedy, the Holocaust of the Jews during the Second World War, and mega murders by the communists, starting with the civil war in Russia, uh, the collectivization of agriculture. Obviously, we discuss the Soviet Union first, but then we move out of the Soviet Union to whichever country was afflicted by communism, primarily, primarily China and Cambodia, but everywhere, everywhere else too. Afterwards, we move to Europe and we study the war in the Balkans in the 1990s. There, was, there were elements of genocide, there was much ethnic cleansing. It shows you how universal human condition is, that the same mechanisms apply in the middle of allegedly civilized Europe as they do in the darkest places of Africa, which we discuss in real time. Unfortunately, uh, Africa is of frequently afflicted by mass murder. It's a continent in uh, turmoil for, to an extent. We study that. We study mass murder and mass murder prevention in real time so that some of us can go out in the field and make a difference.